Wagwan, everyone. It is Attack on Titan time. And of course, the final season part two continues. Um, again, welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day, um, depending on when you're listening to this. And depending on when this actually goes up, because this is the third video I'm recording for today. <laughs> right after Demon Slayer and Boruto. So, yeah, busy, busy, busy. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you had dinner, breakfast, lunch, something, you know me? Of course, let me know what you thought about this episode of Attack on Titan, your thoughts. Personally, I'm waiting until episode four, which is should be the mind-blowing episode. But I'm expecting this episode to be like another 10 out of 10. I mean, just easy, easy 10, easy 10, <laughs> you know me? But yeah, man, let's dive into Attack on Titan. And then afterwards, we'll do our usual YouTube jazz and blues of analyzing the episode. But all in all, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Why, Galia trying to put in some work, dog. Ooh. Oh, wow. Why am I buffering? Seriously. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> dog. <laughs> I think after this, Galia just needs to just, just, just chillax, dog. Ooh. Both shot youth. Mm -hmm. What's he, what's he at? <laughs> what is Yelena trying to do? Enter siege mode? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, poor co oh, type to the man. <laughs> Just relax right now. Alright, a moment of truth. Will Zeke stream or will he not stream? Well. Boy, rough, rough on, on Zeke, honestly, because. Against the same can sympathize with Colt. Oh, yeah, and even the three way with Porco known. There's a lot of broad, like two brothers can be like. <sighs> that episode title just works for like three different groups of brothers in this episode. Like, I can understand Colt's desperation, but I thought, I think this is a stupid move on his part, honestly. And then Pixis Jano, dog. Mm hmm. There we go. Jano, dog. Cold, did you fought? <laughs> nah, this just overall just freaked up, honestly. Ryan, I say, yo, man, nah, give up, dog. Ooh. Armin coming in. Mikasa. <laughs> Yo, Gabby just traumatized. No, no, what we do at this point.
shit. Aaron say yo, cut. Yo, the scene. <laughs> shit, why am I buffering, dag? I mean, how stuff? Who that does that? Uh, is it because of how many perks? No, but it's kind of lit though. Like everybody should like watch the episode by now, right? <laughs> Chaos we have a drop the quality to three sixty. This is insane. All right, the scene from the manga. Gabby, where are you, girl? Get that anti-Titan rifle. Yo. I'm gonna like how they keep it graphic too. And. <laughs> you see that line now? That's the greatest test of if persons are actually paying attention to the story and Eren's character. I kind of like how they're doing this. Like there's still frames and just panning through everything. You know, like those manga motion um web web stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Yo, this is some visually interesting. And here we are at the paths. Oreto Xaba Santo. Oh, my no, you met up. Tanoga, Seka, you scoot to cry. Parents like that. <laughs> Horror dream. <laughs> nah, bro. シソに交通タイルが全てのエルディア人を今後永久に子供を作れない体にしろとこんなふざけた計画俺は到底受け入れられないなぜだエレン答えてくれ俺がこの世に生まれたなぜだエレン答えてくれ俺がこの世に生ま
obviously it's the same case with Zeke by the end because what I was saying at the end of the reaction section there is that usually when you have a character that's in a position to win like but self sabotages himself you have to make it very believable case in point for example you know cell in dragon ball z where of course he, he wants to go on to become a, a super saiyan 2 unlock his true potential but he could have just killed everybody um from the start but he didn't but it's it, it's it's hardwired within cell's personality to want to prove himself so it's believable within the you know the narrative of dragon ball z that self well, that cell would actually self-sabotage himself. So that's basically what I'm getting at with Attack on Titan here, that the recurring theme with this episode is that the brothers like care about their other brother to the detriment of their overall well-being plan or etc etc. Of course, in the case of Colt, even though I thought it was a dumb move because he could have probably just survived and helped the situation with Falco at the later point, or in the case of, you know, Marcel more so via flashback through protecting Porco via, you know, you know, making sure Ryan was the one to actually get through, even though Porco dies by the end of this. And of course, again, Zeke, who obviously didn't have to try save Eren, but everything that we've seen with Zeke through um Saver, Sava, Sa however you pronounce it. And his dynamic with Grisha, it only makes sense that Zeke would quote unquote self sabotage himself and not just go through with his plan and try to see if Eren put in his plan at potential risk of failing. So that's the interesting part where you can really dissect it with the title Two Brothers. So yeah, there's that. Of course, again, I've been saying since you know, you know, the first episode of this part of the season, episode 76 Judgment, that. <sighs> I found it interesting that the whole questioning of Eren's plan and what his true goals were um, by the characters on screen was like a representation of how us, the audience, or at least when it comes down to the end of the story in the manga, there's lots of misinterpretation or not enough appreci appreciation for the character of Eren Yeager. And... Uh, Honestly, this episode kind of really showed it at the fans, I think, um, that how could you actually misinterpret my character? How could you even think I'd be going for the euthanization plan? Because, of course, when, you know, Eren was talking, well, trying to convince Zeke, essentially, that, yo, you know, it'd be good if Eldians weren't born and everything, but it seems like persons forgot the whole, you know, arc in season three part one by the end of part one through Aaron finding out he's not really quote unquote special but through you know corresponding with Shadis and you know finding out his mother's words you know he's special everybody's special because they were born into this world so by extension of that like the fact that Aaron went through that whole mental development arc whatever you want to phrase it as like I think watchers who have been paying keen attention or even if you haven't more more so if you haven't it's kind of like a shame on you for even thinking Eren would even consider that even though Isiyama kind of framed it with Eren kind of pushing everybody away and not being able to see things from his perspective and thing then <laughs> it's one of those like character facts about Eren's character that have been established before and if you were paying attention from before then boom you wouldn't even have to question if he was really going for the euthanization plan or not and obviously as we see here it's obviously not the case so <laughs> yeah because Eren doesn't believe in dying like that or giving up or you know that's against his whole mindset of what freedom will be for himself and the island so yeah it only makes sense of course it's interesting of course Zeke actually got rid of the vow of you know renouncing war and all of that and you know <laughs> it's like a aha 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 <laughs> moment is me so that was interesting um to say the least i'm interested in seeing how persons actually react to that um of course the action yo even the visual framing of the transition between Eren getting his head blown off by gabby and the transition from there to in the past that was vi like visually interesting it was a really interesting choice by mom out there so not like that, that was that was wild but here we are 
we're going into episode four the episode that i've been personally waiting on to see how the anime only fans are actually going to react once they piece together what's really happening in episode four and then the callbacks to episode one that will be in this episode it's going to be mind-blowing i'm telling you i promise you <laughs> episode four memories of the future i believe is going to be something else i'm looking forward to the reactions and the comments <sighs> that will be on display but all in all this episode was another solid one i mean the episode title two brothers rings home for you know all the brothers that are actually in this episode of course more on Eren's character and just you know more of you should have known Eren wasn't going to go for the euthanization plan it was already established because he was born into this world so yeah anyway guys let me know what you think Sanju Chia um, leave a like comment let me know your thoughts about the episode and my thoughts on said episode and I guess I'll see you in the hype, the epicness that is next week, Sunday. <laughs> it's going to be wild. Sanjuichi, I'll see you guys in the next Attack on Titan video. Mm -hmm.